Hey guys, Tangled on Airsoft here. Today I was going to show you on where I store all my stuff um, before we play. Um, this is where I go to get all my stuff on, get my gear ready and everything. So I'll show you guys around and we'll start over here. Um, right over here I have my BBs. Um, these are our friends, um, Logan, and I have some 25 gram for my SRXL, and uh, just game face 20s for the CM18 Mod 1 and my SEMA CMO48 SU AK. Um, right here I have a pool noodle suppressor, it's homemade by Fisher. shout out to him. Um, but these actually make a huge difference in how your gun sounds. It sounds really cool with the suppressor on. Which this long one actually makes a bigger difference than the short one. And I have smart chargers all bagged. Uh, P90 battery for a neighbor. An extra one I just found. And we'll move over here. So we'll start off with these backpacks. In here I have VB funnels for pouring bb's into high caps and i have just an extra holster in there um in here i have tons of hats and just tons of stuff in here paintball masks everything that's all hats and head protection right here i have my custom painted lancer tactical helmet um just buckled on to my u.s military backpack in here i store Mainly just face masks, um, any like vests just to wear, kind of useless stuff. So in here, this is all eye protection, which I'll pour it out for you guys. So it's just regular eye protection right here. Then some $200 um, ski goggles that are completely fogless. Um, just some goggles from Gander Mountain, glasses, glasses, um, kind of different looking goggle, and then just these again, but these are my new Vulcan Tactical Zulu goggles, um, check out my review on them, they are awesome, and in here I have my batteries and my mags, so this is my AK mag for my CMO 48 Sioux. Um, this is Epic Frog Airsoft's mag, shout out to him, Epic Frog Airsoft that is. I have your mag here, so I'll just bring it over to you sometime. Also, Epic Frog Airsoft's mag, I got to borrow this really nice mag. It's a Vulcan 250 round high cap, that's Palmer. And just your standard um, 300 round full metal M4, M16 variant magazine. Another one of those, except this one's painted. And in here, this battery needs to be repaired. Um, wire is a little cut off. But I have like six nunchuck batteries in here. And nothing else in there right now. So let's move on over to my guns. Start with my sidearms. This is an Elite Force 1911A1 TAC. Um, just got your mag in there and stuff. And we have two 1911, Elite Force 1911 TAC limited editions. Um, she looks like this. I have reviews on both of these guns on my channel. Mainly on this one. Not too much of a difference between the two. They only make a thousand in the world for this one, so pretty, pretty rare gun. You're not going to see that around too much. Um, this is a broken CM16. Raider long. Um, it is fixable. I think we just gotta buy a new o ring, but still shoots like decent. Okay. Uh, this is an evike.com custom airsoft consop mod 15. A little bit of motor problems right now, but that'll be fixed in a little bit. Uh, so I'm going through all the broken guns right now. This is a CM18 Mod 1 by G&G in tan. Um, this is broken right now. 
but we have the parts that should be fixed in about a week or two. And moving down here, these are both G and G CM18 mod ones, right there, right there. Um, just the top ones in tan, bottoms in black. So yeah, we love G and Gs. I honestly think they they're making the best guns right now. Um, and they're not costing a ton of money. And they're affordable, super good parts, reliable. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, check out Epic Frog Airsoft. Like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.